Hello friends, today we will answer this question. Are the little insects flying around the lights, especially when it's about to get dark, termites? That's what I'm about to explain. We are currently here in front of a hotel near the airport of Kawayan City, Isabela, Philippines. These flying insects are indeed termites. These insects and airplanes are somewhat alike. They have a schedule for a takeoff and landing. Generally, when they get tired going in circles around the lights for about 30 minutes, they will get weak and will eventually fall to the ground. If they fall on something that is concrete, they will most probably die out of dehydration. At times, they may become a part of a food chain. But if they land on the soil, like this landscape over here, they will search for cracks in which they could get into. The male and female reproductive termites might be able to survive under the soil and form a new colony. As the new queen's eggs increase in number, their mound also increases in size without notice. You can do some research on certain studies conducted by entomologists. They are experts when it comes to insects. However, here is a concrete evidence. An actual footage that surely convince you that these creatures are really termites. Okay, na si Son, lumilipad na sila. Sila yung nagiging queen din. Gamo-gamo kung tawagin din sa anak. Ito yung uh, queen. Ayan yung kanyang uh, hari. Ayan, medyo malaki rin. So, ayan po yung uh, king, king and eight, at yung queen. Na nangingitlog nga ng up to 36,000 eggs per day. Yung nakakakita, di ba naglilip ka? Oo, naglilipara siya pagka ganitong magtatag ulan na. Yeah. Oh, ay! Yes. Yes. So, natin yung... Hello, Sama na, sama na bro. Ito yung hatch eggs niya. Throughout the whole world, the period of time in which they start flying around may vary. But here in the Philippines, these swarmers, as what it's called in English, gamugamo in Tagalog and simot simot in Ilocano. begin to appear between the end of summer and the beginning of rainy days when the weather is very humid. What if these flying insects invaded your home? Or what if upon waking up in the morning, you'd see lots of things scattered indoors and outdoors? A butterfly? Does this mean that your house is already being infested by insects? It depends. They may be from outside and just found a way in, particularly when your windows have no screen. So my first tip is, by the time you see swarmers either inside or outside your house, or they may be flying around the lampposts a few blocks away from your abode, By then, you have to protect your dwelling before it's too late. In our next videos, we will get to know about the superstitious beliefs and suppositions regarding Termite Mound. We will show you the damages as well as the benefits of termites to the whole world. What is most likely to happen to the community if the termites attack is not taken into account. We will also spill secrets and teach you how to catch the queen of termites. The options on how to control them. 
if you don't want to spend too much, you'd get to know about that too. If you're planning to build a new house, it might be better if you hold it for some time until you've watched our next episodes. Or you can contact us in the contact number provided in the description below.